Hey guys, Rock again. Welcome back to another Atari ST video. Now the eagle-eyed among you will notice this is not the Atari STFM I was working on. This is an SGE that I purchased. Much cheaper than EB. I wasn't actually intending to win this one, but I did. Um, so here it is. So I want to show you what happens when I try and power it on. All the bombs so I'm assuming there could be a chip seating issue again like the last time so what I've done is all I've done is I've taken the screws out just show you how absolutely dirty it is um, here's the drive I put some tape on it so I remember the orientation of the uh, cable Let's see if I can turn these around a little bit here as you can tell, it's all lovely. It's all like that. The actual inside of the... Uh, I think there's a couple of dead spiders in there from Watson as well. So, this was sold as untested. And I got this extremely cheaply. Uh, £20 delivered. And uh, the Royal Mail's got a nice postage stamp on it. So, I know the guy has made literally probably under a tenner of it. So, it's my game. So... There you go. I've got the dusty webs and various others down there. So I think I'll christen this one Dirty. S-T-E Dirty. So next plan is I'm going to take off this and I'm going to reseat a couple of the chips. Now the next part of this video you're going to see me with this off and I'm going to reseat the chips and we're going to see what's going to happen. So fingers crossed, I might get it to boot today. See you in a moment. And we're back guys, so I started to take the screws out of the and realised halfway through that I don't actually have to take the thing out. Two of the chips that I was worried about becoming unseated on the early versions of this are actually sold directly on the motherboards. There's no sockets in these ones. The RAM, see it's a couple of sims, so if we want to upgrade the RAM that should be relatively straightforward. So over here we've got the two ROM chips. So what I did, I used a combination of isoprop, electrical contact cleaner, used it, and some industrial paper towel stuff. Cleaned them, shoved them, make sure they were reseated, and I removed them properly using a chip puller, not a screwdriver. So what happens if I turn it on? Watch and see. White screen, more than what I was doing before. And... Wait for it, wait for it. Boom! Desktop, hey hey. So once again, just a couple of clean chips and reseated. I also had to take a vacuum cleaner and clean out some of the nasties that were in here. There, are, there actually was a dead spider or two in there. So next part is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug back in the the keyboard which I've also given a very 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 quick cover uh, needs to be a far better cleaner than that but hey ho I'm going to plug that in and I'm going to plug the drive in as is and see what happens so that'll be the next part so stay tuned and we're back again guys so you notice the keyboard is reattached in its disgusting state that's not the original drive this is. So I plugged it in, didn't hear a single noise. I let it boot to the desktop, it recognised the drive, tried to put a disk in, read it, zilch, nothing. DOA, not clicking noise, no nothing. So if you've been following my Atari STFM repair, you know I've been having an issue with the drive and I was humming and hawing about ordering a drive. Well I did. It's sitting right there. Throw from atarisales.com. Um, super nice guy, John, I believe his name was. Chatting to him via email, um, asking bits and bobs. So, sent me this, really well packed, really quickly. Also threw in a boxed game, Scrabble. So I'm really quite happy. Now, what happens if I put this game, which again I was sold as working, into this drive, and then turn on the machine? Ba -dump. 
Here we go. Are you ready? Power on, so this is the STE powering up. Can you hear it? That's reading. What's that? What's that I hear? Boom. There you go guys, all I had to do to make this admittedly rather yellow Atari 520 STE was to cling to ROM chips and throw a drive in it and bang, as far as I can tell it's fully functional. Although, that's disgusting. So I'm really not sure what I'm going to do next. Uh, the keyboard even works if you... Let me just get rid of that from here. Go away. Go away. Stupid thing. So, uh, Alt and... Is it Alt? Oh, shift. The keyboard does work. Um, oh, F2. Play. And there you go, the F key. So the keyboard works. Games are loading fine. Boom! Now there's one final thing I want to try before I call this a victory and that is this cable here. This cable is a one I bought a long time ago for that Atari STF I very briefly owned that I could never ever get to work properly. When I tried it with the STFM I have in pieces behind me, I didn't get a decent signal at all on this TV that it's an El Cheapo TV on my wall, but it seems to take every single signal. So last part of this quick video is I'm going to plug this in and see what happens. Hang, hold on to your hats. Uh, can't even win them all, so that's the output we get using that cable. You can see there's a desktop flattening away there. Um, I think this TV just doesn't accept the output from the Ataris, which is fine. I've got a monitor behind me that um, I'm running through an HDMI box for my Mega 1200. I might try it on that to see what we get. That's ideally what I wanted the Atari to be next to, is the 1200 behind me. So. Which the desk is absolutely disgusting right now. If you bear with me, right? So, the Amiga it's connected down here to a well, I can't see, but there's a SCART 2 HDMI that goes into this Philips Brilliance 3 sorry, 230C monitor. Oh, wait for it to readjust. There we go, pretty good picture. So, this is where the ST is going to sit, whichever one I use. I'm going to make some kind of stand, so I'm going to have ST and the Amiga, the Amiga and ST. But yeah, that's my plan next. I want to try that cable as soon as I figure out what I'm doing with the STE, maybe clean it up a bit. I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.